Wait, what just happened? As then everyone turns their heads as the rain pours and they see Bakugo and All Might. But he's different looking. It seems as though he's been painted a translucent green. You, it's all weird. But what makes it even weirder is that you see someone within it. At least All Might per se, and that would be Suku, clad in green. Is that? Uh, what's going on? As then Izuku, by accident, completely makes the whole thing vanish. L1 Shaw didn't want to know what the hell is going on. They saw him running in to save Bongo, but then he's a. This happens? But this is when the ring starts talking. Uh. Did that ring just. Yes, yes, it did. How? Oh, I am a Green Lantern ring. I sh chosen this. Izuku Madoya as my Green Lantern. What? You see, giving a lengthy ass explanation to who the Guardians of OR are, as well as what a Green Lantern is and what they do, everyone is shocked at this. But they're even more surprised when they hear about the capabilities of such a ring. One Green Lantern ring. And that this practically unlimited source of power has been given to a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. It's like saying that people are shocked is all hell. Especially the other heroes who didn't do shit to save Bongo. And where is Bongo? He is gone. He left. Vacated as soon as he heard about how great the Green Lanterns are, and the fact that this ring chose Izuku of all people to wield such power, something that is clearly stronger than his, at least the potential to be stronger than his meteor explosions. Yeah, safe to say he's pissed. Cause no Izuku's. Hero ship guaranteed. He has God, near godlike ability because of power. Going out into space, fighting extraterrestrials, saving planets. <laughs> the amount of power in one Green Lantern ring, especially when it's fully charged, is crazy. The fact that it's the only limit to really, to really this thing. Besides, you know, willpower is, is very much your imagination. And plus you gotta keep it charged regularly, just in case. So, everyone is very much like, what the hell? Who decided to give this kid so much power? I did. He has the make of a true hero. All my ears, there's no, no joke. He's like, oh, yeah, huh, yeah, I, I got, I got the gist of that. Realizing that, yeah, he almost buffed up forcibly just to save both of them. Yeah. Just seeing that Zuku just had no hesitation in running it over there trying to save this boy that he didn't even know that he knew <laughs> all he knew Bongo could be a complete stranger to Izuku or he could have been but Izuku still decided to save him because he knew oh my goodness and the heroes weren't doing anything so he really risked his life knowing that he had no power to save this bastard so yeah, yeah, that's that's something. It, 
You know, I was like, I was like, oh, wow. I would offer him my quirk, him thinking, but he doesn't need it. <laughs> but this is when the police do show up. They have heard about this, but they've been tasked with detaining Izuku. When we, everyone asks about why, one of the charges, we're all interfering with hero work, using a quirk, it's not a quirk, sorry, right, using a weapon that could possibly destroy the world, <laughs> such a powerful weapon does not belong in the hands of a child, so if you don't mind, we will be taking that, the ring defense itself, them thinking that Zuku, they got the guns drawn, him's like, Oh, no, that was not him. That was me, because you are not allowed to wield this ring. No one here is. What? Are you saying this boy? Yes. This kid is the only one that can use that ring. Well, technically, yes, correct. He's the only one who is actually able to wield me. I am his ring. In fact, I am contacting another Green Lantern who seems to be closer in, in the vicinity. If anything, it will take him a, a good amount of time to actually get here since this is in a whole different universe. What? Oh yes, there are universes, galaxies. Countless, and I do mean countless, worlds. What? Yes. So you're saying that if, if you're not even from here? No. No. In fact, my previous. Green Lantern passed away, and I was on search for a worthy host, you could say. What? Oh yes, that is one of the few ways that, you know, so this boy's going to die? Huh? Izuku just listening to this, like, what? I'm gonna have to, like, well, you can take me off whatever you wish, but as far as anyone else wielding me, mm, don't think so. Oh, in that case, just can hand over the ring, kid. I would advise against that. Why? Well, because, why should he give up something that he has been bestowed, that he's been deemed worthy of, just because you say so? That thing is a weapon. No. No. If anything, this is not just an opportunity, but something that he, as far as I can tell, was meant to do. But, if it makes you feel any better, I know he's a pure soul, as you would possibly say. I mean, I may not be from this earth, but I do know that you would say pure of heart or somewhat. What? Yes. Are you mm -hmm. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to debrief my new lantern on his new responsibilities as well as possibly get him prepared for his upcoming role as a protector of this, I guess, until we acquire more, this whole solar system 
and beyond it could be his responsibility. What? Oh yes, not just this planet would require his protection. If anything, I've scanned enough of the surrounding galaxy, not universe, and yes, there are more than one civilization than just yours. What? Yes. You are not alone in the universe. What? Huh. I do not believe the earthlings of the other Earth would be so hmm, interesting. But yes, there are extraterrestrial species. Some proving to be very sentient, though not many uh, are as slow to develop as yours. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, they can travel through, uh, well, uh, you know, to other worlds and whatnot. They can't go to another universe as of yet, but if anything, given enough time, they could pay you a visit. You're kidding! Oh no, this is very serious. Please tell me you're kidding! Um, young Midoriya, are they hard of hearing? No, they, they as well as myself, are just very shocked to hear that not only are extraterrestrials real, but that you are from a different universe or galaxy entirely, and that I've been given such power just to, you know. Hmm. Well, if you are worried about your new role, fear not for it. You will be able, will, at least, I believe you'll be eligible for some training. Okay, but who? Hmm. I think Kilowog is busy, so I guess the one you Ah! Why not Hal Jordan? What? Oh yes, he has an incredible will, in which <laughs> you should make your training fairly simple. And when it comes to you honing your power, you won't have to worry about hurting him since he is White, powerful in his own right. Okay. So, um, anything else I should know about this green lantern thing? Hmm. No, no, I do believe that we'll cover it. Okay, yeah. Because. Wow. Oh, yes, I know. If anything, say goodbye to, the, to life as you know it. It shall be quite interesting. Huh. I wonder. Do you have anything on this world called chili dogs? Why, if anything, <sighs> how maybe you're hungry or whatnot? Oh, mm, yes, yes, we do. Quite great. So, if anything, hmm. Yeah, I think I pretty much me. The uh, brought you up to speed. Okay, good. So, anything else I should um, know? Hmm. Let me see. Okay, let me see. 
Ah, yes. I think it would be, you know, very helpful if you knew <laughs> a few weaknesses. Huh? <sighs> Yellow. What? Yellow. What about it? <sighs> Yellow is one of your weaknesses. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Not to mention you have to keep it charged at least enough so you could possibly make it home. Otherwise, you will be stranded, and once it loses power, you're just an ordinary human. What? Oh, yes. And if you have weak willpower, like if your willpower starts to waver, so does the potency of the ring's powers, as well as your potential constructs and other abilities that come with it. Oh. Yeah. Also, I would refrain from using any uh, substances that would hinder your mental state or anything too stressful that could shake your willpower. Okay. Also, vibrational interference. What? Oh, yes. If anything, uh, that's a, not a thing you need to worry about. Also, red power rings. Huh? Oh, yeah. Red power rings. Ooh. Trust me, those things are quite deadly. If anything, if you ever do come across a red lantern, I would advise you to make the fight quick or hightail it out of there. Oh, yes. So you're saying... Mm-hmm. You wouldn't want to... You know, go up against someone who has a red lantern ring. Okay, but, um, why? Huh? Oh, why? Why? Yeah. Oh, it can dissolve the energy from a green power ring, of course. Of course! Mm-hmm. Okay, so... <sighs> Anything else I should... Hmm. Okay, how about this? We have the power of resurrection. What? Oh, yes. Of anything. Which makes your willpower strength very, very handy, believe me. Oh. Oh, yes. You can also form a pocket dimension. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, yes. Quite handy when it comes to impersonating foes or even just basic storage. As Izuku is asking a million questions all at once, trying to get more knowledge, especially about his newfound power ring, he just realizes... People are still around and there are news cameras and they are live recording all of this. So yeah, he's freaking out and he's asking, okay, so can we get out of here? Oh yes, you can fly, of course. Nani? Yes. Okay, that's all I need to know. As he zooms off. Since this is his first time using this such power, he crashes a lot. 
He goes too fast. He goes too slow to the point where, yeah, Ego comes home and sees that he crashed through the ceiling. So, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> Sorry. Paul Thanks considered. Izuku actually does start learning more about this ring, especially as he's waiting for his new instructor. But then, once he finally gets some sleep, boom! A wormhole opens up and out steps Howie Jordan. Izuku, freaking out, even selling his ring by accident and ready to fight. Well, he knows this. Oh, wait, you're you're all green too. You're a Green Lantern. Well, I believe you've earned a prize. Uh, wait, really? No. Yeah, seriously. So, seems like you were the one who got the ring. Y y yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Wait. I have a question. How old were you? Fifteen. What? Y yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So you're really saying that you're a kid? Yeah. That's that's cool. Wow. They see like they're just giving away power rings now, huh? That's that's just great. Anyway, you can power down, kid. I ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, right, 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 right. Ziku finding it difficult to turn off his his green lights, but you're like, okay. Focus, kid. Okay. Calm down. You're not in danger. Okay? You have to believe that. You need to find your... Let's see. Zen. Oh. Okay. Wait, you just said it because I'm Japanese. Wait, what? What? No, no! Gotcha. Oh, you bastard! Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you got jokes. Well, you you mess with me, I mess with you. Hmm. Okay, okay. I I, I might like you. you. You might be interesting. Oh yeah, you're gonna need this. Him just tossing Zuku. As you can, yeah, imagine his power battery. Zuko being, I already have a green lantern. No, this is your power source. Wherever you need to recharge. Really? Oh yes. I mean, the ring did tell you about the whole fact that you do need to keep this bad boy charged up good, right? Oh, right. I forgot. Yeah. Of course you did. But if all okay with you, before you actually, uh, I guess, you know, start saving people wildly, you need some training first. Don't worry. I'm not going to be as much of a hard ass as Sinestro or Kellogg or, you know, the others. But that does not mean I'm going to hold back on you either, so I suggest you get ready. Okay, so where should we start? Well, of course I would like to take you back to my neck of the woods. You should 
get more tuned to, you know, your new territory. What? Oh, yes. It only serves that you'll be protecting this, you know, whole universe on your own until you get more green lanterns down here. But, heaven knows when that's going to happen. Uh, right. I'm alone here. But, <clears throat> considering that you don't really have to worry about, you know, extraterrestrial life or anything, actually how we, me and his ring have uh, discovered multiple life forms on the outskirts of even this solar system, you know. Thanks a lot! My pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. He, he's right. My ring told me. Oh. Ugh. I'm so sorry. They lacked some, you know, uh, bedside manner. They, they, they don't know how to really, you know, ease you into things. Let's see. If anything, we should start on your constructs, but if anything, let's just work on your defense first. At least then you'll be able to, you know, protect yourself and others. Okay. And after that, we'll get to the more complicated stuff. You know, like, uh, Interstellar travel, mix it in with the fact that you can duplicate your ring and bestow some power onto someone. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. As Al just summons another ring. Yeah. All rings can duplicate. Only thing is, it's sharing the power of, you know, the original. <laughs> so. If anything, making too many of them will pretty much drain the battery, so to speak. Oh. So, wait. What else can this thing do? Because it may just show, told me about the, you know, constructs and everything. Well, if anything, it can heal you. Re really? Oh, yeah. Believe me, when I first got hurt, I was shitting bricks, you could see, thinking I was going to die. Well, I already told me about the this resurrection thing. Oh, no. I mean, it can actually heal you. Well, a little bit. Yeah, it can heal physical injuries. Really? Yeah, it's a feature held over from previous incarnations of the ring. They've made it some tweaks, but, you know. What? So, wait. What else? Hmm. Let's see. It brought one of my friends out of a coma. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, really? Yep. So, uh, how much better can, like, what about diseases or anything? Hmm. Well, I think it could, possibly. I mean, if anything, I could say you could actually target specific cancerous cells, at the very least. Well, what about reconstructing someone's respiratory system? That would possibly require an extensive amount of, you know, medical knowledge. Hmm. Plus a power ring. <laughs> Why? Uh, 
no, no reason. Izuku. What? Come on. You can tell me. Green Lantern, Green Lantern. I'm sorry, but... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I mean... Heck. If I think... I'm just here to train you. We ain't here to be best friends. <sighs> you can tell me what you're planning afterwards. We uh, trust me a bit more. Okay? Right. Okay. <clears throat> first things first. What comes to... Hmm. Actually, I don't think your Earth really needs that much protection, all things considered. What do you mean? Well, like I said, though yes, there are extraterrestrial beings out there. They're they're not really looking to show up here. So, if anything, you're fine on that aspect. If anything, you can really just focus on training and getting better. The only thing you really need to worry about is getting to a point where you. You just go off to wherever. They can even come over to my uh, universe and check things out. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if anything, since your world is pretty much already chock full of heroes taking care of business and everything, they don't really need a Green Lantern, so to speak. But the other countless worlds? Yeah, they could possibly use someone like us. Not everyone has, uh. All Might. Oh my god, you are a fanboy, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not teasing you or anything. It's just. What's with all this memorabilia and posters? Your bed? It, uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, oh. Really? Uh, sorry if it weirds you out. It's not that it's weirded me out. It's just, it's not something you see often. You know? So it's not too weird, is it? Oh no, it's weird. If I think, I don't think I've ever seen a fanboy like you before. Part of me is kind of impressed. Oh, part of me is scared. Huh. But, eh, who am I to judge? Huh. Okay. But, if anything, don't worry about it, kid. You, you're just starting out. But yeah, no, you can't really just... I mean, it's good to have a hero to look up to and all, but... Uh, how should I put this? Hmm... You gotta be your own hero at times. What do you mean? Think of it like this. Yeah, this all my here may be great and everything, but at the end of the day, you gotta be your hero too. You're gonna have to be one. Sooner or later. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, anything I should know in particular about being a hero? It's not like there's a handbook, kid. You're gonna have to experience some things. You're gonna have to be in the shit, so to speak. You're gonna have to experience pain. 
you gotta learn that you can't save everyone, but you can save as many people as you possibly can. Even one life saved can make a difference. Wow. Really? Of course. Because who knows how that life's going to change due to you saving it. Or if it's going to change. Huh. I didn't think of it like that. Yeah. 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 But anything. Let's worry about it some other time. What? Yeah, I'm kind of tired. But what about my training? Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, training. Yeah, well, we can do that tomorrow. What? Yeah. Yeah, it took me more than I anticipated to actually get here. Here, your uh, universe is uh, actually quite the distance, all things considered. Oh. Yeah. So, at the very least, don't think much of it. Just try to, you know, be cool or whatnot. Just worry about it. Hmm. No, not even worry. I'll train you the best I can, and then we'll see how you do. Pretty much all we can do, really. Oh. Okay. But, yeah, don't worry about it. Sure, you'll do fine. Just remember... Just because you mess up doesn't mean it's over. You keep trying and trying and trying again sooner or later. <sighs> I'm not helping much, am I? No, no, you're not. Of course not. Damn. Okay. Let's say something else then. Let me just try to find a way to keep you from being upset. Hmm. I should worry. I might have some ideas. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you go on patrol with me? What? Yeah, I'll train you a little bit and then we'll see how you do on the field. I mean, you won't do much fighting. If anything, you're my tag along, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. But wait, 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 wait a minute. What? I kind of want to go UA. What's that? It's a uh, high school. What? What do you mean by high school? You're 15. You're going to change high schools? Oh no, I. Wait. Oh, that's right. Oh, man. How could I forget? Huh. I guess our worlds aren't that similar after all. Besides the powers being different. We... Any other difference? So... Ugh. Okay, let's see. Hmm. So, you wait, you said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this UA is a school. Yeah. What 
what's what's it for? Heroes. What? Yes, we're heroes get trained up and what give me give me let give me, let me get this straight. You guys actually train people to be heroes? Yeah, I mean but so all the heroes come from that school. Well, not all of them. We have other schools. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Huh. That is quite interesting. Hmm. I'm not planning on that. That's so different from <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah, it is it's crazy different. I mean, yeah, we do have some places where we can train young people to own power that they came across through several means. I mean <sighs> As then as you could get pretty much a basic rundown of the DCU. Him pretty much being like, are you serious? Yep. Oh man, if I was raised there, do you realize what that means? Yeah. That would be weird. Yeah, wait, what? So, wait. You? Yeah, I don't have a superpower like everyone else. Well, I mean, most of the population has it, but a small percentage of us still don't. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. That's... That's pretty interesting. Hey, the power ring chose you, huh? You must have terrible sense of justice as well as a strong will especially for someone so young as then Izuku gives his little backstory that bucko boy is not your friend he is your oppressor you need to drop him like a bad habit what he is a bully kid you you not need that kind of negativity in your life. I'm, uh, what, what makes you say that? He told you to take a swan dive. What kind of friend does that? I mean, he was just joking. That does not sound like he was joking. I mean, that sounded like he wanted you gone. Dead gone. And that is not what makes a friend. <sighs> Seriously, oh my god, how, how have you not snapped, huh, how have you not lost your mind, how, how can you haven't tried striking him down, or beating him up, or, well, for why is quirk is explosions, that would make some sense, but how come you haven't, you know, done the deed, uh, oh, well, my mom is very positive and I don't want to give up on my dream of being a hero. Just this most salmon roll pure as hell, too pure for this world attitude that you would expect from Izuku. <laughs> oh my, tell me why. What? What was it? Oh, why do you have to get... Why is someone so pure have to get a power ring? Is that such a bad thing? You are going to be ruined! Huh? Yes, you are going to be ruined. I am sorry, but it is the truth. What makes you say that? <sighs> this life... It's full of pain, loss, minimal reward. It, 
it's just, it's going to be very painful. I'm sorry, but this, this life is going to test you mentally, physically. Wait, your, your planet is different. Your universe is different. So maybe it won't be so bad, but still, you are, you are just a delight. Thank you. No, thank you. This was a pleasant. Woo! I can't believe this. I can't believe this mess. You, you have surprised me, boy. Seriously, kid, you. Ugh. So, this is your way. You. If anything, yeah, we can trade for that too, I guess. Ugh. Oh, but I don't want to use this. He's literally just taking off the lantern ring. But... Excuse me? Yeah. You want to train without the ring? Uh, yeah. Why? Do you know what you're doing? You're pretty much putting away... One of the most powerful things in existence. Well, I... I don't want to be too dependent on it. Like you said, if, what if I forgot to charge it or anything? What? <laughs> You're serious. Yeah, is that a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. You actually... Ugh. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. Kinda of took me off guard. Caught me off guard, I guess. Ugh. I just can't believe this. You want to train without it. Yeah, at least I want to build up some muscle or anything. You know, prepare myself for the worst. Trust me. If you can't use your ring, it is the worst. Much more reason for me to be prepared. Oh, Seriously? Yeah, like, you know, a contingency plan. What'd you just say? Yeah, a contingency plan. Is not that say it wrong? Oh my god, Batsy might love you. But, <clears throat> okay. Okay, I, I get your reasoning. <sighs> so just in case things do go south and you can't use your ring. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I see. I see your thought process there, kid. But wow. Not many people think that far ahead. I mean, huh. me, heck, I was pilot and whatnot. Huh. Crazy. But if anything, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see the wanting to do this, be, be it as it may, be a crazy kind of endeavor. So, you want to go to this superhero school? Yeah, you're going to need training. Especially if you don't want to use your ring. So, I'll find us somewhere to train. You just prepare yourself for other hell. And which other hell is putting it lightly. For what you do is it uses a ring for at least 50% of the time. Which means everything is pretty much his base strength without any buffs 
So when you lift something, it is really heavy. Once they're going through drills and and where yes, he uses the ring for lifting things and creating things, but he also lifts things without it. Though yes, the ring does give him superhuman strength and whatnot. He just refuses to that be his only go-to, especially considering the test. It would be considered huh, support item. He doesn't want to do that. If anything, he said it would make it feel like a cheat code in a video game. Though, yes, it does exist, the victory is much more rewarding when you feel like you've earned it. Like in Dark Souls, the countless times you've died on one boss battle, but the time you finally get the upper hand, you see the boss start to slowly die. It starts changing up his approach and everything. But as soon as you get that final hit in, your life is dwindled to a point where one hit would have killed you. Its weakest attack would have killed you. But you persevered for hours being this boss and you finally do it. You just want to take a victory lap. That's the kind of feeling Ezekiel wants. So, yes, that is his 10 months of training. Pretty much 5 months being pretty much conditioning, weight training, and whatnot. Which those newbie gains showed up almost overnight. <laughs> and the whole Green Lantern training, which is flight, lifting, construct, configuration. Etc. And boy, oh boy, was it ever helpful. Since, yes, the Green Lantern Ring can heal Izuku, how, though he does see this as kind of a cheat, he tells Izuku just so he's extra prepared to wear the ring while he, when he's done working out. Just so it actually does heal him quicker. So, yeah, Izuku bulks up a easier. He got more of a lean cut build to the point where he, if he took off his shirt, you would know as he's been working out. Bakugo has been training his damn arse off. Hoping that Izuku is being lazy, which he knows Izuku. He knows he would never be slipping when it comes to training. Heck, he just got a superpower to it, pretty much. And he's a quirk nerd. <laughs> Who knows how many notebooks he has on the ring already, in which it's five. Yeah. Izuku has made five, in which he's learned a way to actually not really use a pocket dimension per se, but he actually conjured up a safe to store things in. And as soon as he makes it disappear, it takes everything with it. As long as he conjures the safe again, it's still there. Heck, he could put anything in there and it'll be like no time has passed. An ice cream. He can just leave it in there for days and. Whew, uh, I'm, I need some ice cream. Pull, just pulls it out of the safe. That's how amazing Izuku has finally been able to really utilize this power. How? It's beyond shocked. Impressed, even. As a sheer. Um, details Izuku puts on his notes. The possible applications for this ring that he just recently received, not even a year ago. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, wow, this kid must must be a godsend or something. 
It's almost like he's had this ring his entire life. And having Hal Jordan be there to help him train, yeah, is also a very good boon for Izuku. Because by now, he has heard about Hal. He knows of his greatness. So, seeing that someone so revered train him, makes him feel all the more better and more confident in himself. But also puts him a little bit of stress, just enough, so he's like, I have to do good. I have to get better. This sadly does put a little strain on his mental state when he has some doubts about himself. But then, he just remembers that, yeah, this is one of the weaknesses of your ring. Your willpower will give it power. Just remember what you learned. Remember what you know. Don't forget to test some of the theories that you decided to make. In which Izuku actually has decided to conjure up more All Might like entities. Which Hal does find particularly weird and creepy, but it's like, eh, he's a fanboy. Yeah. It's all natural. But then, something. You see who asks Hal something? That yeah, Hal was pretty much like, wow, we're back on this again. You said that about duplicating a ring? And bestowing it upon somebody? Yes. What about it? I want to give a ring to All Might. What? As yes, Izuku tells how Jordan All Might's secret that he was critically injured. Hearing this all All Might Yeah, he's hurt. No, he's lucky to be alive. So, yeah. They go on the lookout for All Might. Seeing that, yeah, he's training and everything. No, well, he's patrolling. <laughs> huh. Young Midoriya. What brings you here? I want to help you. Pardon? I want to give you a ring. Please uh, elaborate. Uh, he wants to heal you. What? Wait, what? Wait, how do you? Young Mid I have no choice. You can't heal me. Well, actually he can. Or at least either I can if he can't. <laughs> what? He can bestow upon you a ring. Just like his. Just not as powerful as a full Green Lantern ring. You're serious. As a heart attack. <sighs> Why well, I mentioned him this to him before, he seemed quite excited. And now, given the circumstances and what he, he's finally been able to tell me, now I know why. So, all might. You want to be a Green Lantern? 